Hi, my name is Anton and I'm now in French Alps in Courchevel. Uh, today I want to talk about a new amazing feature of Dreamflights app. Uh, this feature is called uh, Copter Drawing. Uh, Copter Drawing feature enables uh, the user to create uh, augmented reality objects uh, on the sky. So let's just try painting something on the sky uh, so you will get an idea of what it actually looks like. So now I'm operating Phantom 4 via VR glasses and you see the screen of the phone. The image here is doubled specially for VR glasses. The 3D picture I'm seeing now is absolutely spectacular. So if you have a pair of glasses at home, I strongly recommend you to watch this video on your phone through them. Let's paint letter L for example to see what it's all about. For that I'll need to fly backwards now and the track of the drone is forming the base of the letter L. Now we're flying upwards creating the vertical part of the letter. You can see that the objects such as trees and houses are getting smaller as we're lifting upwards. Okay, so let's fly aside now to take a look at what we actually have just drawn. You can see that the lines are not solid. Uh, they consist of something like small comets. The latter appears to be as it was absolutely real, occupying a certain place in space. Notice how the perspective on it changes while we're rotating around it. You can see that it always stays on the same place where we have just drawn it, but only our position changes in relation to it. Apart from letters, uh, you can create different kind of figures that can serve as obstacles to go through. But why would you need that? Uh, you may have heard of a recently appeared kind of sport that is called uh, drone racing. It's definitely a lot of fun, but it requires a lot of skill to operate your drone on high, such high speeds without actually crashing it. With these 3D figures, you can create different kind of obstacles that can serve as challenges for yourself and uh, perhaps your friends to compete with you, so you can safely train your uh, operating skills without any extra expenses. Uh, it would be a bit difficult to create such obstacles uh, just with the drone itself, so the developers of Dreamflights have developed another uh, app that is called SkyDraw, uh, where you can uh, create uh, different circles and routes to follow just with the touch of your finger. Let me just show you how the app looks like, so you will understand how it works. Okay, this is how the app looks like. In SkyDraw, you paint various figures across the sky you see through the camera of your phone. So you just hold your phone against the sky and press the button with pencil spectrogram on it. In this menu that has appeared, we can choose the color of the comets, the thickness of the lines, consistency, and the distance between the operator and the virtual object. So I set the distance, say, approximately to 100 meters, uh, the consistency uh, to, say, 6, 5.8, and we also have to choose the color. We'll use yellow. Uh, it's called Bright Sun here. Now let's paint two hoops as a challenge for us to go through later. So I simply touch the screen and start painting like that. Here's the hoop. Uh, I also have to push this button here to save it. So here I've painted another hoop, the red one, at 200 meters. So now we have two hoops uh, through which we are going to fly. Uh, the important thing here is that those hoops, uh, these virtual objects, are attached to a certain point in space. So I can freely move the phone about and you can see that those hoops stay exactly where I've left them, so I can they can fully disappear from the screen, but they are saved uh, in the app, and I can always go back to them. So now I'm operating Phantom 4 again using Creamflies. Uh, you can see the two hoops I've just painted in SkyDraw; they are now identical in both apps. Our challenge will be now to fly it right through them. First of all, I'm pressing the button C1 on the remote control to initiate the highlight of the drone's trajectory. We'll take a look backwards at it after we pass through the hoops. Okay, so we've passed through the first one, uh, and to pass through the red one, I need to get a little bit higher than that. 
So now I'm moving upwards, um, a little bit more than that, okay, and now I can fly forwards. So I'm about to pass through the second hoop and I'm through. So now I will rotate the drone uh, to show you the trajectory. Uh, Okay, you can see this magenta colored line uh, consisting of these small comets. Uh, this is our trajectory. So the point here is that uh, if now your competitor will try to complete the same exercise using the different color for his track, you can then compare how well each of you did. Uh, this way you can work out what you did wrong initially and learn on your mistakes, uh, progressively making your exercises more and more difficult. This was a quick review of a new Dreamflight's uh, copter drone feature. Uh, if you're interested, you can go on our website dreamflights.pro and get more info. Concerning SkyDraw, this app actually has more uh, features that we've managed to cover in this video. Uh, because the images uh, you create uh, in SkyDraw are attached to a certain point in space, uh, they will be available to any other uh, user with the same app as soon as they uh, direct their phone to the same point. Uh, this way you can use it in many various situations. For example, you can mark your location or congratulate your friend with his birthday or even express your feelings for that matter. Uh, this is all for today. Uh, I hope you like this video. You can download both apps uh, in App Store with free versions available. Goodbye.